Welcome to Festo's Trends in Automation podcast, where we discuss all the new products, programs, and latest trends going on in automation. I'm Frank Langro, the Director of Product Market Management, and with me to discuss Festo's Essentials program is Todd Shannon, Business Development Specialist for Pneumatic Automation. Thanks for joining me today, Todd. Of course, Frank. Thanks for having me on today. So to start with, can you tell me what would be considered essential in a pneumatic system? Sure. Nearly every pneumatic system has to have, or at least should have, an air prep unit. This is to filter the compressed air and to set it to correct pressure to operate the equipment at an optimum performance level. And tubing is also a must. The most common type of tubing is polyurethane. And then finally, directional control valves. They control the airflow operating pneumatic cylinders. And typically, cylinders will have flow controls to control the speed of the piston. And it's also common for actuators to have proximity sensors. These detect when the piston has reached its end position. There are a wide variety of pneumatic cylinders out there on the market. Which are some of the commonly used types? Yes, the most common types of cylinders fall into four main categories. Brown body, or more commonly known in automation as non-repairable cylinders, compact short stroke cylinders, NFPA style cylinders, and these adhere to specific standardized dimensions. And then finally, guided drives for loading applications and mini slides for precision movements. Since air prep, tubing, valves, cylinders, sensors, these are all basic items and contained in just about every pneumatic application to some degree, we consider them to be essential. So does Festo do anything special to enable engineers to design these essential products into their machines? Yes, the Festo Essentials, it's all about making it easy to find and availability. Since these are common products, quite often they're the last things to be ordered on a project. These are pre-configured products and they're stocked at Festo's regional service center in Mason, Ohio, allowing for quick deliveries. And given the current state of the supply chain at Festo, we've put a focus on ensuring our customers get these products quickly. I can certainly see some tangible benefits for customers to standardize around a core group of products. Can you elaborate on some of your firsthand experiences with this? Using readily available components mitigates the supply chain risk and enables fast, efficient machine builds and maintenance. Today's supply chain issues really highlight how this simple approach could yield great benefits. Additionally, using readily available components also helps machine builders ship finished machines faster, reducing their time into the marketplace. What might be the impact that you could see on engineering and commissioning? Making use of pre-configured products, it reduces engineering time and the associated costs. When customers utilize easy to deploy components, they also reduce their commissioning times and thus their overall costs. While customers can save time and money through the optimization of processes related to design and maintenance, can you say any words to the pricing of the products? Absolutely. Pricing is, of course, very important to our customers. Festo's engineering teams have designed these products with a strong eye on manufacturing optimization to be able to offer these products at an attractive price level. Festo made an investment in high volume automated manufacturing machines, allowing us to achieve high throughput while maintaining the quality behind the Festo name. Festo has long been known for its high quality and innovative automation products. With the essentials products being basic, do you think they can also be technically innovative? I think Festo has done a great job of balancing quality and cost effectiveness. As an example, let's take two products under consideration. First, the DGST mini slide. The DGST is the most compact mini slide on the market. The space savings is achieved by bringing the shock absorbers inside the frame of the body close to the center line, which also reduces the moment load and increases our customer's load capacity. The DGST also offers a slide and a yoke that's machined out of one piece. 
providing our customers the highest level of perpendicularity. Additionally, Festo's SDBT MSX cylinder switch is another unique product in the marketplace. This proximity sensor has an auto teach in function, simplifying the installation process. It can also be programmed and reprogrammed. As an example, one switch can be changed from PNP to NPN or from normally open to normally closed. This unique function allows our customers to simplify their stocking program and thereby reducing their overhead costs. That sounds great, Todd. Any last points about the Festo Essentials program that we haven't covered? Sure, Frank. I would just like to point out that our customers can learn much more about the Essentials program by visiting festo.com backslash essentials. There they can download the catalog in English, Spanish, and French. Well, Todd, I think that sums it up very nicely. And thanks for joining me today. Thank you to everyone for watching, watching and listening to this episode of Trends in Automation brought to you by Festo. Check out our other episodes for the latest info on the newest trends in automation.